Hey, this is Josh again with Grimco. Um, gonna do another video here. I just did one for how to set up a Kiss Cut and Perf Cut through Adobe Illustrator for Cutting Master 4. Uh, here's how you can do that exact same process with FlexiSign or GraphTech Pro Studio, which are basically the same software. Uh, GraphTech Pro Studio is just a, a uh, licensed version of Flexi for GraphTech. So it's gonna look basically exactly the same as what you see here with my Flexi on the screen. So I've got this sample file pulled up. It's a vector image. You can see that with all the red lines on all the data. Uh, each one of those is an individual object that can be edited. So nice, easy to work with vector image. I'm gonna put a cut line on this simply by going up to my effects menu and choosing contour cut. Um, so right now, my contour cut is set up, but it's, um, it's got an ellipse selected. I wanna change this to contour. And then I can adjust where that contour goes. I can bring it in and kind of bleed it down so it's negative. Um, or bring it out so I have kind of a white border around everything. Um, and then I want to make sure that my spot color selected here is one of these gray colors down in my default swatch. Usually I'm going to use for Kiss Cut the first one here, which is just Cut Contour. This is usually what it defaults to. And then I'm going to hit apply on that by hitting the green checkbox. And then now I want to do a new contour cut. So I'm going to select what I have here. Um, do effects, contour cut. Um, this time I'm not going to just, I could trace it again and, you know, make just have like an, out, an outer border. But in this, in this case, I'm just going to do an ellipse around it. Um, and then I can shrink it in a little bit. Um, maybe I want it like that, but I'm going to bring it down just a little bit more. So maybe something like that. Um, but I do need to, so one, I'm going to save this. I'm going to, but before I save it, I actually need to change the color. Uh, I can't have two, if I leave it on cut contour, um, which is where it was at, um, it'll, it'll treat as the same cut line. So I need to designate a different spot color here. So I've got my kiss cut set for cut contour. I can use any one of these other ones here. I'm going to use the one that says Perf Cut Contour because it's named specifically for perf cutting. So easy to, to uh, recognize. So I'm going to click on that and then hit apply. So now that I have, you can see I've got my kiss cut there and then I've got my, my perf cut going around the outside here. Um, I get two different cuts here. So the, I do want to fix this so it's not cutting into the image. So if I right click and because right now if I click on it, they're kind of all selected, kind of grouped together. So I want to right click and separate that contour cut. And now I should be able to select this outer one by itself and move it around and adjust it. So maybe make it just a smidge bigger. And then Okay, that should be good enough for what we're doing here. So, so now I've got my two cuts on there. So when I go to rip and print this, um, it'll pull up and uh, I choose wh what printer it's going to. And it's going to put the marks in for whatever cutter I have loaded. Um, so if I go to the knife tab, um, it looks like for some odd reason it's doing two point marks for a graph tech. Uh, normally I'm going to want that to be on the, the three point marks, or I'm sorry, four point marks, uh, graph type four point type two is kind of the default like that. Um, for longer jobs, I can choose one of these segmented type twos. Um, but, uh, for anything less than, you know, five or six feet, I would just use the probably even more than that, probably anything less than eight to 10 feet. I would use just the four points. And then longer than that, you can use the segmented. Uh, but anyway, so I got the graph tech uh, four points selected there. You can see it, it sees the two different cuts and it's already got them in the right order. Um, I can change the order here, but uh, I want my cut contour to be first and my perf cut to be second. 
but I do need a designated condition for these right now that is set to none. So none means use whatever the plotter is configured for. And in this case, since we have two cuts, we need to designate, okay, this cut is going to use condition one, and this cut is going to use condition eight, or whatever your, your settings are set for on the plotter. So I'm going to double click it. That'll bring up the properties for this cut line. So I can choose uh, whatever I want here. In this case, I'm going to do condition one for a kiss cut. And usually I'm going to have these unchecked if these are checked, because these will override the settings on the machine. All I wanted to tell it is use condition one. Um, and then I've got my speed and all that stuff programmed in on the machine. Um, so then I'll save that. And then I'll do the same thing for my perf cut, double click it. And I'm going to choose condition eight. And again, I don't want these overriding the setting, settings that I've already configured on the machine. So I'm going to turn these off and just have it use all I wanted to tell the software to tell the machine is use condition eight. So there we go. I got my kiss cut and perf cut designated here. Um, and so this would be ready to send. So I would hit send on this and it'll go into my production manager here. Um, and probably fail here. I think I sent it to the 700. Um, but there's no printer connected. And so on. Um, but you've got the uh, cut loaded for my FC9000 here. And then the print job is... I don't know where it went. I guess it didn't come over. Probably because... Oh, I know why. Because, silly me, I had it set to contour only here. So... I want to have this, make sure I do, when I'm print and cutting a job, I want this to be as separate jobs. So when I send it, it creates a print file and a cut file. Okay, so that maybe was a little bit too much work for my computer. Um, it'll probably eventually show up here, but you get the idea. Um, on how to set up a print and cut file for, for perf cut and kiss cut uh, through Flexi and or GraphTech Pro Studio.